how it feels. Did you do the other video? Yes. Okay, good. Hey guys. What is my channel? Oh, sorry. You should put <laughs> that in there. In there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ready? Um, oh, until next stopped. time. I'm pretty sure it did. I don't think it did. Oh, it did it! Hey y'all, it's your girl Chelsea Drew back with another video. Peace. It's Nala B. In a share and joy. And we are filming how we became friends. This is one of our last videos shooting on the hill in our freshman year. So we're gonna do a little quick little recap, you know, and just stay tuned. So this is how we met. Um Oh, okay, so group me, at this time I met Nala. There was a group me, Family 19 group me, and uh, I joined it. My my cousin added me, and it was like a small group of people or whatever, Kennedy. Oh. And, uh, you know, so we just kept growing, and then eventually this girl, Nala Brown, was like, who is she, who do you think she is, whatever. Anyway, she DM'd me, and I was like, I don't even know her like that. She's not even number one. you, I didn't have to be you. Right, no. <laughs> Wait, did you? You were in my then DMs I, at my one point. My she DMs, she said, hey, I'm being your roommate. And I was like, oh, snap. It's getting real. I'm actually going to be living on campus. Right? And then. It never happened, guys. It never happened. It did happen. No, it didn't. Because um, Carly is your roommate. It never happened. I thought you meant like you never DMed me. Oh, yeah. I DMed her and everything. We were talking back and forth and stuff, just sharing our, um, what do you call those things, when you similar, similar liking and all that yeah. stuff. She likes theater, I love theater, like we both love it, and we're just like photographers, videographers, we're just creatives. Yeah. So it was like, it was sort of easy. It was like, oh, ooh, Yeah, it shoot. was kind of scary. If you're, <laughs> it was like, is she lying? So I like these things, <laughs> I don't know. So it was like, well, shoot, like, let me go ahead. I told my parents about her. I was like, well, I might just try her, because my mom was like, yo, Nala, you gotta be safe when it comes to these people you live with. I know mm -hmm. it's not gonna be in the same room, but it's still gonna be in the same vicinity. Exactly. So be safe. So I was like, okay, well, this girl, you know, she seems pretty dope and, you know, down to earth and not too crazy, so I'm gonna hit her up. It never happened, guys. She tried it. You Let know, me tell you. I ended up putting my deposit in way before her. Like six months uh, before because <laughs> I got up to the fam you. I got the email, everything. You know, I'm thinking, okay, I'm a G. People started posting pictures of their certificates or whatever. Mm -hmm. Did not get one. So I'm thinking, oh, whoa. What's going what's on? What's going on? Did someone just like and spam I looked, me? Yeah, and it said 14 days. So it had been like 28 days. It had been a full month. And I didn't receive anything still. So my parents were like, well, you're not going to be paying for nothing. Right. And you don't even go here. Like, you know, all that kind of stuff. So then eventually I got my stuff together and all had, she had yeah, paid for housing. I was pissed off. She knew I'm where sorry. she was living. I'm sorry. And I was like, you know, but it made sense though, because it was just like, you know, yeah. it wasn't the right time, I guess. And then we get here. They went to orientation together, so let's go to that first. Okay. That orientation? Me and like not. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to fight. We had orientation. She's oh, right. No, right. <laughs> She up. looked at me like, no girl. <laughs> no, but uh, Nala's PR and I brought cash journalism, so we were kind of associated the entire time. I didn't see her at any of the events, basically until the last day mm -hmm. when uh, we had breakfast. And we also took the little pictures. I remember that because oh, you yeah. tried to, she tried to steal the sign of School of Journalism. I, I missed it. And they were like, where is it? Where is it? And I was like, oh, it? I got it. Are you trying to take it? No, I, I missed my it. picture, girl. I was right in the middle. It was late. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't remember that. Um, before the time came to get really back on school, really back on campus, I DM'd her and I was like, hey, you know, like we should meet up again and we should talk and all that stuff. And she was like, oh yeah, sure. Throughout the whole time of freshman week, this girl was going back and forth to Walmart, <laughs> back and forth. So the while I'm over here trying to meet up with these two, they're all just passing me at once. And I, I remember sitting down, I'd be like, hey, like I would be embarrassed. <laughs> I'm like, I know I texted her said we're gonna hang out tomorrow. Today's tomorrow. We still didn't hang out. So I'd be like, oh my gosh. This is hard. She don't think I'm lying. But like the you you will see the first week is chaotic. Hectic. Mm -hmm. it's, it's hectic. You got a lot going on. And your family's leaving as well, so you're trying to get every time with your, with your family. It's you're exciting to sure. though. I yeah. remember I remember being excited like while I'm lying. So Y'all can see it in my vlog. Yes. I was literally like, okay guys, I'm dying. Cause yes. I was just walking up these hills. I was trying to find freaking SLS class y'all understand that when y'all get here but seriously it was but it's a really good else. feeling and it gives you you don't you don't have time to feel bad because you're 
so you're on everything. It's yeah, just like, what on is going it. on? And if you want to go to every event, like I went to every single event that we had that week, you I be like, too, whoa. Basically. You be like, hey, wait a minute now. This yeah. is too much, and but then it's exciting. We all ended up in... Um, our intro class yeah, together. Yeah, That's yeah. How together. Yeah, they signed up together. I just happened to be there because I'm amazing. Yeah. And they, we did our classes together. Yeah. But yeah, Shout so out that to was. Jordan. You act like you don't know nobody, but. For real? Yeah, you. Mm-hmm. We see you. You ain't slick, boy. We see you. We we see Crib. you. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, like that was a really good experience having the same class with them because I was like, yeah. okay, now I have to hang out with Nala. Right. And then we would hear Sharon being I called in the back. Well, I would. I'd be like, who is this little Sharon girl? Because yeah. he called her her first, middle, and last name. I'm just like, this is unnecessary. <laughs> Eventually, I, I found out who she way. was, and I was like, she's cool. So you're the one. You're Beyonce. Mm. Like, and she, okay. I, I <laughs> sort of really like brought her into, like, dragged her into it through campaign season. Yes. Shout out to Kennedy, her cousin. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Oh, I wow. really didn't. Oh, my goodness. The camera turned off. We just thought it was over. Oh, my goodness. I look at you. I guess we can round you. But, yeah, yeah, the camera turned off, so. Back at you. probably not going to put that in there. But um, shout out to Kennedy, her cousin. <laughs> she was running for a position, freshman senator, and she needed a team to really back her up. We were basically her photographers to get all her graphics yeah. in, and she just needed some people to back her up, like I said. So I thought of, okay, Sharon. She could be somebody to have as a trustworthy opponent on the team, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Somebody, yeah, that didn't make any sense. A <laughs> trustworthy participant. Campaigner. I think the moment when I was like, okay, this might be, this might be a great friendship or a serious friendship, is when Chelsea cried in the car over her parents. Oh yes, you guys yes. are so dramatic. Yes. Don't bring yes. that up. Yes. But I remember looking at Sharon, and we were just looking at each other like, you guys are so dramatic. Yes. Don't. I was literally looking out the <laughs> window like I was in a music video. Like, listen, <laughs> I'm gonna cry right now. Like, no. It felt so real yeah, because but it was like a true I, raw moment. Let me it tell y'all, really like, I don't raw. cry yet because I think you might be at the frame. It was like really just a raw moment. So yeah. it was like we really knew each other at that point. Yeah. And I was so mad they were in the car because I don't cry for the people. Yeah, like, I, knew she, I knew she. I was, was like, like no. Hey, yeah. like, Chelsea, what's wrong? And, and you know, it, people ask what's wrong. You'd be like, you on the verge of tears and it just comes out like right. Niagara Falls. Mm-hmm. I was like, Lord, they in the back seat. And when I got to see the the strong uh, foundation of a family, because that's very important to me. Same. You know? I mean, if it's not there, then you know I can't really argue against it. But when mm-hmm. it's not, when it's your choice and it's yeah. in your like actual area where you can make it something of closeness and everything, a strong foundation, and that is your choice to do that, I think it's just like very important, and, like yes. perfect and legit. And that's when I was like, I was like noted. Oh, that was that was a raw moment. That made me really? sad. I was about to cry. And just we now. threw, I'm just about my dad. and we threw like a little uh, surprise party for yeah. her right after. It was at, right after her uh, pageant. Yeah, yeah her second it was, my it was birthday. Her birthday day. as well. Yeah, it that's was when we like. Was, I think that's when we first took our selfies and yeah. stuff. I was like mm-hmm. three because we. Oh, I yeah, think we Paige had was, a couple pictures of Shane and yeah. I and Chelsea and I, and then y'all maybe had, but we never had a three of us together. But I remember Paige's friends like they're they're three, and they were like you all three of them were there. Yeah, you go see a picture of them. All three of them were there, and they saw all three of us, and they were like, "Oh my God, I'm I'm not alive." <laughs> and they're Sharon, the short one. yeah, they're short yeah, ones. They so literally cute. like we should take a picture with all of us. They're going to be here. Yeah, well, yeah. Mari's already gone, but she's coming back for graduation. Yeah, for graduation. So yeah, yeah, y'all see a picture of us, but it was just like I was just like, "Wow!" So I guess it's like all my friends because they, yeah. they 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 were like, "No, that's that's Kira, <laughs> that's Mari." <laughs> they were literally that's like, Paige, you know, so us out. It yeah. Was so cute. And then also aside from the that moment in the car. My moment that I remember probably like that made me think, okay, these are my friends. One time I was in my my business in my work study and this girl tried me and I went to the bathroom and I was just and Olive was like, Chelsea, are you okay? <laughs> and I was like, you know, I couldn't even talk and I was just so infuriated. And she got in the bathroom and I had to say a few select words that I won't repeat on camera. <laughs> but to say some things, I was really upset and Olive was like, That's not you right now. This is not you. You know, you need to, you know, but it was just like, because I had other friends that were there as well, but they weren't, you know, they didn't do, they didn't offer that helping hand. So I was like, yes, yeah, my whole girl. At this moment, I said, you know what? I claim you, loyal. I appreciate that. What else did he say? I forgot what else he said, but that was literally that moment. I was like, you know, this is, this is, this is fam. Yeah. Sharon, what moment do you have? I 
feel like I had a few moments in general. Like, it would just be like, I think staying up at night. Oh, no, no. For one of the moments yes. was when we were actually, um, when I was spending the night for the first time. In my room? Yes. And you pr you played that prank. Oh! That prank? How did we forget ah! about yes. that? Yes, prank. Whoa! It was that forget. prank. Oh, my yes. And I was sitting in it, and I was like, it was just the funniest prank in the world. And I was like, okay, this goes I funny. caught that on my live, like too, guys. But I'm <laughs> telling you, <laughs> like, we had them scared. Scared. Chill, was like, I wasn't I even my, scared. Well, no, Nala was one that was like, yeah, man. Yeah, we were sitting. Yes, yes. <laughs> I remember were that. Faking. Girl, that was that was piecing. She said, oh, she she's closed her door. That's when I was like, <laughs> well, no, <dear>. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, that was, that was a fun, that, that was, was a experience. moment. And then aside from that, also like our really deep talks, we could talk for hours. Yes, I remember the first time like, we had that one talk, we were at room. True. True. Oh. That's how I knew, because we were in True Talk, one of the oldest Not even campus. that though, her roommate was still in there. And we were yes, just talking. And we didn't, it was like we didn't care. Night, maybe yeah. one. We did not care. And then, we were outside of the dorm, and they were like, "We hear you guys." Yeah, so you yes. have to leave. It was, yes. and I, they literally had to kick us out. Yeah. yeah, it was, it was the longest. But I was like, and we're talking about some like deep stuff. Yeah, it, it wasn't was like, no, my hair is yeah, I can't relax. No, it was like, it was some deep, and I was just like, yeah. wow. And I left. Right. I was like, I just had that conversation with people like that. Right. I don't even right. really know like that. Like we right. were talking about, so we were talking about some terrible stuff. I told my parents and everything. Yeah, that was that was crazy. I remember leaving. Just I felt so. I was just like, I felt accomplished. Well, right, like you found like my yeah. yeah. So it was really good. Yeah, it was really cool. But um, this video is just like really, like basically a recap. Really just. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. It's just going to be great to look back, look on, back on in 10 years. Yes. So I do advise or encourage others, you know, when you do have those friends, you know, you'll feel it. Document. You'll feel it, okay, guys? Mm -hmm. It won't be it won't be artificial. It won't be in you the moment. You won't feel exhausted. Exactly. You won't, like you won't have to mentally prepare yourself to At hang all. out with people. Yeah. No, it'll just be a smooth Go transition. You exactly. know? And don't force it, you know, because it's a testament. You will find friends. Like, I promise you guys, I had friends, you know, back home and stuff like that, but I would never call people my... <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't say this <laughs> word. My best friends. You guys are my best friends, by the way. You say you are? Finally. We are. Listen, but... <laughs> okay, um, can I finish <laughs> And then I'm I wouldn't do that back too. home because I was like, you know what? Mm -mm. You know, you just know people be sketchy or whatever. Yeah. So I was like, I'm, I'm 18 years old. That's too late for me. You know, I've missed the boat. I'm not gonna have you know friends that are really close to me, but they, they exist, guys. Yeah, they exist. Okay, now you I didn't heard want to say what you know said, right? You heard what she said, right? I remember I suggested a video right on YouTube and it's a tag and it's called the college best friend tag or something like that and I was like you guys we should do this one day and she was like you guys are my best friend. Oh I remember that. And I was that. like I oh no. no. <laughs> See yeah, okay I have a problem with uh, trust issues with people you know like friendship issues so I don't call people by DS. And it's understandable I bet like I all you high schoolers like people just go through so much with people. So she tried me. She just tried me. Wait, what? She just read me. You called me a high schooler. No, <laughs> because fine. we've been through the same stuff. That's yeah. hard for me. Yeah. Like you know, just yeah. You don't do that. Yeah. But I'm telling you, they and I'm not saying you're going to come and find them right away, or whatever. Because mm -hmm. it's just, but it's they exist. So don't yeah. don't close yourself off. I understand because sometimes. Friends. For me, exactly, because I mean, I don't know if y'all remember, but I texted them. We had a little bump at one point. It was a very awkward oh, wow. bump, but, but it was quick, though. It was a quick yeah. bump that we and had to go And bumps actually bring you closer. So basically, I just wasn't comfortable opening up all the way because I had the mindset of thinking if I were to let people in, then they would just go ahead and leave me. And yeah. I didn't want to have that on my heart because I would automatically think... Because I would automatically... Okay, I think okay. I should be good. <laughs> this ain't right. <laughs> because I would automatically think, okay, something's on me. I need to change. And nobody wants to have that on their heart. Yeah. So I would just think, okay, family is all that I need. You know, forget friends. I'll just give them a quick hey and bye, you know. And that's what my yeah. mindset was. So. Seriously. And it's like, you don't want to be the person that's like, oh, my best friend. Like, I meet you tomorrow and, like, you're my best friend to me. What is that? I'm sorry. I just, I just saw one. I'm sorry. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Look. But you, yeah, you, you want to take time to know people and figure out who they are before you put labels on them, I guess. Right. I think that's good. But yeah, you you know, you just you just want to know who you know and then start getting close so you won't get hurt. Yeah, right. And another thing is like, so in high school, like, I guess I was always kind of different. 
but like I was still like I could talk to people and be cool with people mm -hmm. but it was like you know you always have that thing that okay. kind of sets you apart and I could tell that they're like that too like yes. they, I'm sure we can all give a testimony with yes. like that girl yeah. look like, okay <laughs> when I'm sure you remember this but after we got kicked out of freaking truth and outside of truth Chelsea and I were talking the whole time oh, going, going back, back to the village. Yo, walking like this. I was like, why does Cher have to still be there? We were walking going so this slow, <laughs> yo. And we I were talking that. about being different in yes. school. Wow. And I just remember and thinking, just... I was thinking on this side of my brain and as well as this side. Because mm -hmm. I was thinking like the whole time, like, yo, this girl is literally like saying exactly what I was I remember I was talking to Nala and Nala was I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, you Some know, you <laughs> not. <laughs> Don't say that right. because no, no, no. no. Exactly. It was yeah. it's moments like that, and that's it you was know, serious. Yeah, things like that connect you. So don't think, even you know, if you don't have friends right now, this moment we're watching this video, don't think that you won't ever have friends. Please right. don't. Because the There's things that you. There's too many people in this world for you for to real. think that. Exactly. The reasons that people don't aren't your friends now are people are going to come back and they're going to be trying to see because of that same reason. Exactly. So don't yes. change yourself. Don't go after these, you know, these superficial, you know. Uh, belief that you have to change right. and become something that you're right. not. Just because you. you know you'll feel it. You'll feel it in your heart, in yes. your gut. And you I know, in, my heart. Right. in your gut, in your heart, you'll feel it. Trust mm -hmm. me, you'll feel you it. Really will. That's the end of this video, guys. Uh, it was just really to inspire you guys and to remind us that you know, good things take time to get, but once you get them, it's gonna be worth it. And you know. This has been a real year. I'm glad I met you guys. Yes, I really am. Yeah. It's only been like I don't know how this many is months. So crazy. But yeah. wow, it I really, can literally show you guys my journal saying I'm gonna have great friends. I'm, I'm telling you, people, so. I can remember praying. I was the law of attraction, y'all. Yeah. It works. Pray on it. It works. Like I'm telling you guys. But yeah. God bless you guys, family twenty. I'm so excited for you guys to get to the hill. It's gonna, it's be, gonna be a great, great time. time. And you know, I just. I love all of y'all. There's no place I'd rather be. Na, 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 na. No place I'd rather be. Right? No place I'd rather be. When I am with y'all, there's no place I'd rather be. I don't know the lyrics like it's a long. Butter up. Uh, butter yeah. up. It's a wrap. God bless y'all. Stay positive, stay beautiful, stay blessed. Yeah. Until next time, Chelsea Drew.